Prepare for a lot of surprises as we explore everything about Halo Season 3. Is it happening? Let's dive into the action-packed world of Master Chief and uncover the mysteries that lie ahead. Just a fair warning, spoilers for Halo Season 3 ahead. Paramount Plus's Halo TV series has become one of the best TV projects in the last couple of years. The video game adaptation is a successful and critically acclaimed project, but will it get a third installment? The series, based on the video game series that debuted in 2001, is set in the 26th century and follows the war between the United Nations Space Command and the Covenant, an association of alien races who hope to destroy humanity to its core. There were some bad reviews when the creators decided not to stay completely loyal to its source material, but I think we are over that now. Both critics and fans seem to love the second season. But is this enough for Paramount Plus to greenlight a second installment? Are the creators even interested in making yet another continuation? It's a fact that people who grew up playing the game expect the creators to use the beloved gaming source material. It looks like they finally realize they made a mistake as they try to stay as loyal to the source material as possible when making the second installment. Hopefully, they'll continue this trend with a potential follow-up. You need to know that Halo has not been renewed yet. We still don't know the reason, but Paramount Plus hasn't renewed the series for another installment. This isn't surprising though considering the second installment premiered recently. Nevertheless, this is a big budget project and Paramount Plus wants to see good viewership numbers and good reviews before deciding what to do with Halo's future. In other words, the network will see whether Halo makes them enough money before they can make any decision. Interestingly enough, they greenlighted a second season before the premiere of the first one, but it looks like they want to be careful now, not making any quick decisions, especially after all those negative reviews of season one. My guess is that the network will soon come out with an official announcement, greenlighting yet another continuation. This only brings us to a potential release date. Do we have one? Unfortunately, it will take a long time before we see new Halo episodes. Why? Well, for starters, Paramount Plus hasn't officially renewed the show yet. However, you shouldn't worry because, as mentioned before, the future of Halo looks fine at the moment. In a recent interview with Collider, Halo game developer who also works as an executive producer on the TV series, Kiki Wolfkill said they had story ideas beyond Season 2 but still don't know whether they'll be given the chance to explore those ideas. We would love to be able to explore, Wolfkill said. Luckily or not, the creators left some questions hanging at the end of Season 2, hoping that the series gets picked up for another follow-up. As showrunner David Weiner told Collider, they have lots of plans for future episodes and would be happy to work on another season of the series. Although Weiner did mention that the Halo universe is quite big, which sometimes creates problems for them. It's such a huge world, there's so much of the legacy, of the lore, but also every solution brings about its own problems at the end of the season, and I think that it's a great springboard. Per a report by The Hollywood Reporter, Paramount's initial plan was to make more seasons of Halo. Some reports claim the network wanted Halo to continue beyond its third installment. This is not surprising considering the lore of the games. Anyway, they need to make a decision following the season 2 finale because, as I said, the creators need more time to produce a big budget series like Halo. As for a potential release, well, we can look into a previous filming schedule and try to guess a likely date. Season 2 was filmed from September 2022 to May 2023, filming wrapped up about a year before its February 2024 release date. If the creators start working on the third installment by the end of 2024, we expect to see the new episodes sometime at the beginning of 2026 at the earliest. Maybe in the spring of 2026? That seems more likely. So, who else is on board for Halo Season 3? Should we expect to see any new cast members? Are there any departures? Let's find out. When it comes to Halo, expect the unexpected, especially with the changes from the source material. We've said goodbye to plenty of characters in the series so far, so we expect to see some departures in Season 3, including the one of Shabana Azmi. We also know that we'll see Pablo Schreiber as Master Chief as he's the lead role and protagonist of the series. Continuation without him would make no sense. 
we hope to see most of the actors that have appeared in the second installment, including Jen Taylor and Christina Bennington as the AI character Cortana. Who would you guys want to see in the potential third Halo installment? Let us know before we explore some surprising plot details and mind-blowing theories. What will happen in the upcoming episodes? Those who have watched some episodes from Season 2 know which direction Season 3 will likely go. As aforementioned, people were outraged with Halo Season 1. The creators stayed as far from the events in the games as possible. Luckily, they changed this in the second installment, and we expect the third one to continue adapting some key moments from the games. Honestly, I truly hope the creators have learned their lessons. Anyway, Season 2 is expected to leave us with plenty of questions, questions that will be answered in the future. Based on what happened in the second season so far, it looks like the third season will adapt to the events of the first Halo game. The beloved 2001 game features Master Chief trying to defeat the Alien Covenant. There's also the superweapon known as a Halo Ring, which is expected to play a big role in the third installment. Some of the characters know something that could change a lot of things in the upcoming episodes. As revealed in the series, the Halo Ring is hiding a very dangerous alien parasite. This parasite is known as the Flood. The Flood has been locked away for a long time to keep the galaxy safe from its deadly infection. I believe the first installment will focus on the Flood and its implications. Season 2 has, in fact, mentioned the Parasite, but we still don't know whether the creators will adapt the rest of the events with the Flood in the next installment. Nevertheless, the introduction of a Halo ring at the end of Season 2 is going to have a major influence on the plot of the upcoming episodes. Again, there's so much untouched source material that the series needs to go beyond its third installment if we want to see most of the events from the game adapted into the series, and of course, if we want to see a proper conclusion. Do you have some theories about the plot for Season 3? Share them in the comments before we move on to… Herangoski and her death Is she really dead? Well, most fans hope that she is, considering how irritating and evil the character has become. Just to be clear, we all love the amazingly talented Shabana Azmi, but watching the character's actions in Season 2 made us all very nervous. Obviously, the creator's goal was to make us all hate the character, and they succeeded in their mission. But this doesn't mean that Margaret was dead. We never saw a dead body, did we? And if history has taught me anything is that if you don't see a dead body in a TV show, chances of the character actually dying are pretty low. Margaret could have easily survived the flood zombie attack. What do you guys think? Is she really gone? That's all for now on Halo Season 3. If you're as pumped as we are for the next chapter, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for all the latest updates. Until next time everyone, stay awesome. See ya!